Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we are going to be discussing Dead Eye yet again. Go figure, probably the biggest thing affecting the game right now. Uh, today we're going to be talking about not only Dead Eye, but some other changes that I think need to happen to the Commander rework. And if they made these changes, these would be some pretty sweet changes and I think would improve the system overall. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with Dead Eye first. So, Dead Eye, if you haven't played the game or will have it played battleships in the past week or so. Deadeye is a four point commander skill for battleships and battleships only. What it does is that it improves your dispersion by 10%. The not really downside but on the condition of there not being a detected ship within your base concealment range. So this also takes into account modules and captain skills, so on something like the Thunderer, as long as there's not a detected ship within 12 kilometers of you, you get this buff. And it is a very big buff. It's a buff that I didn't think was going to make this much of a difference, but boy does it. If you don't know, it basically turns ships like Kremlin that have been nerfed quite hard to where before this update you couldn't hit jack past 15, 16 kilometers to now where you can with ships like Kremlin rail ships at 20 kilometers pretty consistently. It pretty much unnerfs Kremlin and unnerfs Slava as well, well and turns Slava back into the Palbetta. And I do have it on the Shikishimi that you're watching here in battle right now. And you can, as you can see, despite my crappy aim at you know maximum range, the dispersion is very, 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 very good on Shikishima. Um, yeah, I'm not used to having to shoot literally at maximum range for most of the match, so that's why my aim sucks. I know, I, I know, I suck at long range. I don't like playing at long range, so. If you're typing that already, I already know, don't need to remind me, or feel free to remind me too, whatever, I don't care. Anyway, um, this is a huge, huge buff. Huge buff. And the issue that I have with it, and a lot of other people have with it too, is that it's too good, and it literally has no downside. There's no cost for this, besides for commander points and the condition that a ship isn't detected within your concealment range. So I think one of the easiest fixes to Deadeye, besides, of course, removing it from the skill tree, which, let's be real, Wargaming is not going to do that. This is a skill that's probably going to be here to stay. If they do remove it from the skill tree, I will be utterly shocked. So, add some downsides to it. Maybe increase the time of your bloom. Your bloom, for those of you that don't know, when you fire your main battery gun, guns, your detection range blooms. It gets bigger. It becomes your maximum firing range. So when you fire your guns, you're visible to all ships that have line of sight on you in that range. I would say increase that bloom time by anywhere from 10 to 15%. That way, you pay for putting the skill on your ship. You're detected for longer after you fire your guns, thereby opening up yourself to retaliation from other ships. That's a pretty... I would say it's a pretty generous downside, too, because it's not like you're already not going to be spotted in a battleship, but it does give other ships time to retaliate to you when you're fighting something like a Thunderer that has really, 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 really good base concealment, or Conqueror, even uh, Kremlin to a degree, too. Another downside could be that it increases your reload time by about 5 to 10% too. Again, giving this skill some downside to taking it. And I think that would also cut back on the amount of players taking it. Although, I'm sure there would be plenty of players that wouldn't mind taking it at all. Because plenty of players already take Legendary Mod Yami, which doesn't decrease your reload time. And you could fit the uh, reload module there. But again, it would slow down your reload time, so you wouldn't be having these really, really accurate salvos coming at you every, if you're talking about the Thunder, every freaking 22 seconds on the Thunder. It would up that time a bit, give you a bit more downside to taking that skill. Uh, another downside could be that it increases your turret traverse time by, again, maybe 5 to 10%, somewhere in there, somewhere in, the, in that sweet zone. I would say whatever they wind up leaving the skill at, because I do believe the skill will be nerfed from 10%, probably down to, like, 7% first off. Wherever, like, that percentage is, it should match the percentage of the debuff. So let's say 10% boost to dispersion, 10% increase to your reload time, 10% boost to your dispersion, 10% increase to your bloom time, something like that. Or it could straight up just range your detection range. Um, I mean, right now, if you take Deadeye and Consummate Expert, 
you're like freaking golden on battleships because one, you just sit in the back of the map anyway, but two, again, on ships with decent concealment, you know, taking concealment expert just decreases that concealment to something quite low, which before used to encourage moving up because, you know, you have a smaller detection range, you can afford to get a bit closer to the action without getting permanently spotted by a ship, but of course now it's just, yeah, I can sit in the back more comfortably and snipe. So something like that I think would also be a, a pretty good change too, to where even if you do take Consuma Dex, but all you're really doing is, is just nullifying the downside to Deadeye, which would leave us with more base Consuma ships rather than these super stealthy builds that we're seeing, because you still have the Consuma module too in there as well. And another thing that could that they could change that I think would be a pretty good change is just nerf it down to 5%. Because honestly, if 10%, like I said before, is making this much of a difference where we're turning Kremlin into Slava and Slava back into Pobeta, I think 5% would be a pretty decent place to be at. Because it would still be quite a noticeable improvement, but at the same time, it wouldn't be so good to where we have ships like, you know, Kremlin taking it, or, or GK taking it, and now they're able to freaking sit in the back and snipe efficiently too, mind you. So, I think that would, at the end of the day, I think that would be the best change, just to bump it down to 5% and leave it there. To where, if you are a sniper, and you enjoy that playstyle, because there's nothing wrong with a sniper playstyle, it's just that we need to have other battleships not sniping, and not have freaking Kremlins and GK sniping the back, in the back of the map, you still get a pretty good increase to your dispersion. But if you're not a sniper, like I'm not a sniper, but most of my battleships have this build on it right now because it's just it's just so freaking good. I refuse to put it on GK because GK is a secondary build. I will die on that hill before I put uh, Deadeye on my GK permanently, like I've done with most of my other battleships. But um, yeah, to where ships where their characteristics and their trait isn't supposed to be sniping can't just take the skill and now they're a magic sniper they should be drawn towards skills that improve the characteristics of their ship like secondary build with gk like survivability slash tank builds with um with kremlin you know to where those skills look more reasonable and more appealing than this sniping skill in my opinion at least okay so that's what i think needs to happen to deadeye will any of this happen Probably not. Again, I think they may like start to like crank it down by like a couple of percentage here and there and some upcoming hot fixes, but I don't think they'll, you know, implement any of that. It would be nice if they would, and if you're listening, we're getting feel free to use my ideas. They're free. Alright, so some other changes I think need to be made to the new system. I think they need to do away with the paying to dismiss commanders and retain their their um elite their commander xp as the elite commander xp if you don't know if you want to dismiss a commander right now let's say you have a 16 point commander the whole idea behind this new system seems to be to have just one or two commanders per line and move them around between your ships because commanders now can slot different uh skill tree builds for the different classes like on luchens right now i've got my gk build on there and then i also have my build for uh, hindenburg on there i can also have my german DD build on there too. On freaking Kutsnazov, I've got Slava's, well, Slava and Kremlin's build right now, Deadeye build. I've got Stalingrad's anti concealment build on there, and I've got my Kapodov's gunboat build on him, all on one commander. And that's nice and all, you, you can move him around, and you still have the pair to retrain him, but if you have some premium ships, it's really nice because then there's no fee for that at all. But in order to get these commanders up to these 21 skill point threshold now, you need 1.2 million commander XP. And if you're like me and have a, quite a few commanders sitting around, I've got some 15, 14, 13 point commanders that they're just sitting around, they're not doing too much. So when this update came out and I saw that you could get some commander XP back by dis dismissing your commanders, I was like, oh sweet, you know, I can just dismiss a handful of commanders. I could get maybe one commander up besides Lucian's up to 21 skill points, but no, you gotta pay to keep their XP. XP that you've earned. Yeah, you gotta pay real money. Or you could pay credits to keep 25% of it, which is an insult to all the time that I spent grinding out that commander in the first place. So I think that needs to be done away with. I think it would help out a lot of players right now that are trying to, of course, get those commanders up to the 21 skill points. I know a lot of people are just gonna say, we're giving much to the grind and, sp and spend money and play the game more. Okay, I see your point there, but it would be a nice change, wouldn't it, if they would do that? So that's another thing I think needs to be changed. Uh, another thing that I think needs to be changed is, of course, the whole notion of 
all these different skill trees being on this one commander but of course you still gotta pay to retrain them on different ships they have lowered the cost a little bit for retraining i wish they would lower it just a little bit further a little bit more that way you know you'd be more incentivized to do this besides of course just grind up several 21 point commanders which i'm sure most everyone's just going to do anyway because why would i pay to move uh, Luchens on to Hindenburg when I can just grind up my Hindenburg captain still you know I know like it's going in that direction that where they just want to have a couple of commanders for each line it seems but no the cost is still too much to reach to move them from one ship to the other so the increase in that cost would of course help out a little bit more I do like the recall button that's probably the best thing about this update to where if you move a commander from one ship to another ship you can hit recall and just yoink some back there that that's really helpful and really convenient and again probably the best part about this update um, another thing that I think would be nice is if they added in like a training area and I mean maybe not a training room but maybe a demo room to where once you fit all of your skills on your commander let's say you can go into this training room or demo room or wherever and sell your ship around and try it out see what it feels like with all these commander points on it and then after that you can set those commander points so let's say you would, you would uh, select all your commander skills get to go into this demo room for a minute and, you know, have the option of not not force players to go in it, of course, but to get to go into this demo room, maybe with, with just some un uh, some unarmed bots just sailing around. You get to try out your ship a little bit and see what it feels like with this build on it. And then after that, you can set your commander points in stone. And then after that, of course, if you want to uh, respect them, you have to pay to respect them with uh, elite commander XP or with the blooms. I think that would be really going above and beyond for the players. I think that would be very, very, very nice. Or just have a demo room in general. Kind of like War Thunder. I think that's one thing that War Thunder does certainly much better than World of Warships because now World of Warships will let you look at ships in port that you may want to buy for the army, but they don't let you test drive them. I would like it if they, if they would let you test drive them. Again, just on maybe the ocean map with a couple of unarmed bots to where you can see what the ship feels like before you decide to purchase it because a lot of these premium ships are getting more and more expensive nowadays. So that'd be a very nice thing to add in. And that was also a little tangent, not very much about the commander rework, but nice little tangent there anyway. Okay, guys, so that's what I think about changes to Deadeye or changes to the commander system overall. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What changes would you like to be made? What other skills would you like to see change? Because I know right now the focus is mainly on Deadeye because it is the single biggest thing affecting the game right now. It's kind of hard to get a feel for other skills and stuff when everyone's busy trying to snipe each other from the A or J line. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.